Hello, Adelaide Stevenson Sharks. It's Mr. Wyland here, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my influential American, and we'll see if you know who it is. First clue is that this individual was an American civil rights leader and politician who served in the United States Congress for more than 30 years. He was born February 21st, 1940 in Alabama. He grew up on his family's farm where his parents were sharecroppers. And even though his family taught him not to challenge the segregation laws that kept African-Americans separated from whites in the Southern United States, the activism of Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King Jr. inspired him to try and change those laws. In 1961, he took part in the Freedom Rides. And in 1963, he helped organize and spoke at the historic March on Washington, which is where Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech. Even though at this time he was in his early 20s, he was recognized as one of the big six leaders of the civil rights movement. In 1965, he led more than 600 peaceful protesters across a bridge in Selma, Alabama, in response to local violence against civil rights activists. The protesters were attacked by law officers and more than 50 people, including him, were hospitalized. The day became known as Bloody Sunday and the event helped pass the Voting Rights Act. In 1977, President Jimmy Carter put him in charge of a federal volunteer agency that included the Peace Corps. And in 1981, he was elected to the Atlanta City Council. Five years later, he was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives for the first time. He's been awarded the Martin Luther King Jr. Nonviolent Peace Prize and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Do you think you know who this person is? We'll find out.